Well, good morning, Pastor Jay, uh, with your Wednesday devotion. I'm recording this right after Easter worship, and it's quiet in here right now, but it sure wasn't just a few minutes ago. We had a raucous and wonderful uh, contemporary uh, Easter Day service, and uh, I want to share with you um, something from Fresh Bread by Joyce Rupp. Fresh Bread by Joyce Rupp. This is about Easter. Each church year, we celebrate that jubilant event of our Lord's resurrection. We are urged to sing alleluias and songs of joy. I have often wondered just how many people do feel that deep joy inside themselves. I wonder because I sometimes have a difficult time entering into the alleluia. And I know others also have expressed the same experience. We know intellectually and by faith that it is a wonderful time to rejoice in Jesus by being raised by the Father. But in spite of that truth, we sometimes just cannot muster an alleluia. No matter how hard we try to find a smile in our spirit, illness or other bodily changes, tragedy or other anxieties may prevent us from feeling the enthusiasm proclaimed in the songs, the prayers, and the message of Easter. What if we wake up on Easter morning and feel crabby, restless, lonely, sad, pained, or discouraged instead of feeling hope, joy, peace, delight, and the new life the church invites us to experience. One consoling aspect is that Easter is more than a feeling. It is a faith moment. It is a time when we bring our whole self to join with others in celebrating a significant fact of our belief. And in doing so, we can sometimes catch that spirit of joy from their hearts. At other times, we can enter into their spirit of celebration simply by being bonded, being present with them, knowing with satisfaction that we are at home with Easter spirit because of the joy in their hearts. And you know, I think that brings up a very important part, a very important point, and that is that people are going through different things. There may be people who are really suffering today, people who are uncertain, uh, people who've been through great tragedy. They're grieving, and we always have to remember that. And yet in the midst of that, we find that incredible promise that the one who dies, as Jesus says in John 11, the one who dies uh, will live, and the one who lives and believes in me will never die. That's a wonderful assurance we have here uh, in the season of Easter, and I hope and pray that that's been part of your experience. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the joy of Easter. We thank you, Father, for the good news that your Son has defeated sin and death, and that the, the grave is not the end for us. We will have eternal life. Lord, we thank you so much for that. But we also remember today those who are suffering, those who are ill, those who are grieving, those with multiple problems that just cannot join in the Alleluia's. Lord, bless them as well. And remind us that the disciples too were sad. The disciples too were downtrodden on the day you came to them, on the day you wished them peace. Lord, give us peace today. Help us to celebrate in whichever way is natural for us. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you had a wonderful Easter. I know we sure did here at Christ the King. And I pray that Easter won't just be a day for you. It'll be a whole season. It'll be your whole life of knowing the victory of Christ and finding strength and joy in that reality. Bless you this day and always.